This video is designed to help you start a laundry business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a laundry business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful laundry business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Once you decide to start a laundry business, your first step would be to choose the type of laundry services you'll provide. There are several different types of laundromats, self-service, also referred to as coin laundry, fully staffed, wash and fold, and dry cleaner. Each offers a unique set of benefits to both the business owner and customer, and they all operate differently. Self-service. At a self-service laundromat, the customer does all the washing and drying themselves, with little to no staff to assist. These are more commonly found in areas where there are a lot of college students and the customer base is younger. Fully staffed. If you want to employ full-time staff and offer a more luxurious experience to your customers, a fully staffed laundromat is the business model for you. Aside from coin-operated washers and dryers, these laundromats provide other services such as wash and fold and dry cleaning. Wash and fold. At a wash and fold laundromat, all the work is done for the customer. A team of trained laundry pros does the washing, drying, and folding. All the customer needs to do is drop off and pick up, or some businesses may even deliver directly to a customer's house. Laundromats with wash and fold services are typically found in areas with more families and a higher income. Dry cleaner. Dry cleaners are full service establishments where delicate or expensive clothing is washed and cleaned with a chemical solution instead of water. Owning a dry cleaning business can be fairly lucrative as the cost to dry clean clothes tends to be higher. Get the proper equipment. Once your space is secured, your next need is to turn your attention to buying the equipment to make your laundry business operational. Depending on the size of your business, you may need over 20 washing machines and 20 dryers. Some other essential laundromat equipment are change machines, credit card payment system, laundry carts, oversized washing machines, security cameras, soap dispensers, vending machines. Although most of these things on the list speak for themselves, it's important to remember to have plenty of change machines, as not all of your customers will be carrying credit or debit cards with them. In addition, you'll want to keep in mind that laundry equipment will most likely be your biggest expense, aside from rent. On average, laundry machines can cost you anywhere from $100,000 to $400,000. Therefore, you should have done some calculations for how much you expect to spend on these initial startup costs, and now it's the time to find a way to finance them. Although new businesses have a more difficult time qualifying for traditional business loans, one type of funding that can be particularly useful for laundry businesses is equipment financing. You'll take your quote for the machines you need, directly to a lender who then funds the purchase. You pay off the loan with regular payments, and the machines serve as collateral for the loan, making lenders more willing to work with less qualified borrowers. Hire employees, if necessary. If you are a full-service or self-service laundry business, you will need to hire employees. Full service will require at least one or two full-time employees. Here are the various people you will need on staff. Laundry attendant. Repair person. Cashier. Manager. Driver, for delivery services. You want to hire individuals who are the best fit for your business, and are well-versed in laundry machines and how they work. So, make a careful decision when onboarding new employees, and do not rush the process. Hiring the right folks now will save you a lot of hassle and money in the long run. Focus on comfort. Convenience is crucial for businesses like laundromats. Comfort may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you go to a laundromat, but it can definitively be A+, plus, and the reason why someone chooses you over your competitors. This is why you should provide free Wi-Fi, enough wall sockets for charging mobile devices, and comfortable furniture, among other things. Providing other small luxuries, such as a vending machine or a cafeteria, a reading nook, or a children's corner, can also be your selling point. Marketing. This next step is important, you get to promote your business. Here are some recommendations for getting your name out there, and bringing in customers. Build a website. Getting a URL and working website has never been easier, thanks to websites like Wix and Squarespace. There are tons of tutorials online to guide you through the process, as well. List your business on Google and Yelp. Just a pointer, if a bad review is left, reply with kindness and an incentive to bring the customer back. Create social profiles. Social media is king these days, but it's not crucial for a laundry business. However, 
If you do have additional amenities in your laundromat, such as an arcade, it might be nice to advertise on socials. A lot of laundry businesses are utilizing TikTok to give followers a peek into their business. Invest in digital advertising and content. Facebook and pay-per-click ads are great drivers of new business, and can be easily done if you are not experienced in the area. Partner with local businesses. Partnering with local businesses, is an underrated pipeline for new customers to come in and do laundry. Consider teaming up with local coffee shops and boutiques. Free dry cleaning, with the purchase of 10 coffees. The next part of the video is not specific to a laundry business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the laundry business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. Operating a successful laundry business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis for a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? Three. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? Do you know what financial reports, should be prepared, and how to prepare them? 
Finances. A large number of small businesses fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following. Failure to recognize seasonal trends. Excessive cash taken from the business for living expenses. Too rapid expansion and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a laundry business, is a continuous learning process. Research your idea, and do as much as you can, yourself. But don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free laundry business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.